roads. Yeah, Suzanne, it was a nightmare. I was working last night. They had shut down the QEW, shut down the 407. So luckily, a much better picture for commuters. Of course, a lot better. Thanks very much, Chrissy. Just a little technical glitch there. We've got some heavy volume on the QW. Yes? Yes. Yes. We've got some heavy volume in a lot of areas. Beat the traffic. Get the app for your phone as far as the weather's concerned. And we'll get back to Chrissy and traffic in a second. Now, nothing serious weather-wise, certainly not for traffic weather-wise compared to yesterday. For sure, Suzanne. I was working yesterday, and it was truly unbelievable what I was seeing on the QEW as well as on the 407. We'll have some events coming up next time, but the big events, you know, the big rain and the closures, but everything has been reopened road-wise, right? Certainly things a lot better for commuters on a number of fronts. We know we have the QEW Toronto bound at the Skyway. That's all reopened. And then all the QEW closures from the flooding yesterday. Everything was moving along smoothly. But now uh, moral of the story, Chrissy, is just hustle, 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 hustle to safe shelter whenever you hear thunder. For sure. Thanks so much, Suzanne. Certainly can't remind people of their lightning safety enough. <laughs> now traveling on QEW, we know yesterday it was treacherous with the flooding. Today it's because of a couple of problem spots we've seen. So